Good morning, everyone. So, welcome to another virtual safari here in Kapama uh, Private Game Reserve. My name is Evan. I'm from Karula. So, today on our virtual safari, our cameraman will be Aubrey and Manus. So, yeah, we've got a nice and interesting sighting here for everyone today. Uh, we're sitting with the Guernsey female lions. Uh, it's two females and the seven young ones. So, for most of you that have been following Kapama for the last, let's say, year, we have seen the Guernseys grow from being young ones, uh, helpless cubs, to almost being quite successful hunters out here. Uh, they've just, not just, they've caught a young giraffe uh, during the night. As we can see, they're all busy feeding. So, all of the members of the pride is here, that both females and all seven young ones. So, this giraffe probably been caught maybe And you can see once, especially with lions, once they're feeding, as you can see, look at the one female at the back, she's, you know, one of the adults is all, all on her own, basically, away, uh, while the rest of the pride is feeding. So once lions are feeding, you know, it's all for them, you know, it's not like, I'm, I'm the mother, I have to feed. So everyone, all, all of the lions will go in, and everyone is going to try to get a piece of, of meat here. But you can also see, they, the ears are pulled back a bit, so it's also a bit of a submissive way for them. But also, it does mean they will be ready to. They will basically be ready to strike if anything happens. Yeah. So, especially with the Guernsey females, as we do know, if, if we have followed also the farmer over the last years or so, is that this pride mostly specialized in giraffes. So they have learned the tactic of how to take down giraffes. And also with this young, it seems like it was quite a relatively young giraffe, so it probably would also have been much easier for them to take it down, especially just chasing him here. With nine lions, there was going to be no time for them to get away. You see the face is still covered in blood. And so they basically they'll they'll finish the whole giraffe off here, and whatever is left will then, you know, the vultures and hyenas will then take care of whatever is left over here. So also just one thing for for many of you that is following us, the Guernsey females consist of two adults, and the young ones is there's four young males and three females. So as you can see, it's got quite a quite a close bond and the females are successful in getting enough meal for them so it, they can quite still sustain this pride you can see there's always a lot of lot of competition it's always nice listening to all of this the audio and the vocalization around the kills so it means each like everyone else will have to get their own meat so necessarily with lions they don't have to eat like every day Oh, look at that. Look at that female there. Just showing the young one, showing his place. But it's like I said, you know, around the kills, everyone is going to try to get a piece of meat. That doesn't necessarily mean, because there's no hierarchy, there's no order of like, where one animal eats and then the next one comes in and eats. It's like all for themselves, like everyone goes in to get a, basically a bite. But I do think eventually once they are done here, they'll actually move into the sate or they're probably going to go and look for water. Because that is generally what lions will do after a big kill. This is a decent sized meal for, for 9 lions. So we know that lions need more or less about 3 to 4 kilograms of meat in a day. So they will not eat every day. They'll actually go quite a few days without feeding, especially when it's a big animal. But also them being opportunistic hunters. So that also means, maybe they won't even hunting. Maybe they were just laying down here. And then this young giraffe moved through here with a mother and they saw that opportunity and they took it. Yeah, but it's always nice, it's always nice to watch this behavior, just to sit down and, and listen, especially when they're feeling the lot of the growling. Look 
the strength of the female. She's got it by the neck. Yeah, so you'll find with most of the biggest giraffes, I don't think lions they really go for the neck. Not a lot of meat, but especially I think because this is still a relatively young animal. That's why we still so much meat in that neck. So that's also why you'll find that she's feeding on the neck. So the young ones is not joined the females on the hunt here. So uh, me personally I haven't seen them joining the hunt. So the females will go off on the hunt and eventually if they do catch something they will go back and collect the young ones. So mostly from about one year onwards the young ones will eventually start joining the hunt small. So they start seeing what the mothers can do. But even at this very young age where they currently are you still see them every now and again. They still try to stalk. But that's eventually how they will learn. Like I mentioned, when the ears are pulled backwards, because even though they're submissive, but they're still ready to strike. So that's usually one of the things you always have to look for. Once they pull that ears back, you just have to remember that they are submissive, but they are ready to strike. As we could see with those young ones there. So that's also why the cup mortality rate is so high with lions. With the Gansies, they have been quite successful mothers. They have raised previous cups to like what would you call adulthood, about four years. See, they'll always be moving also like looking around because they have to check because anything there might be other lines in this area might be even the dominant males that's coming in so there was always there will always be also one animal that's always going to be on alert yeah, so when when we talk about uh, the cup mortality rate around kills is because as we saw with a, one of the young ones just not so long ago it's like whenever you go in you find that there's always like everyone wants a piece of meat so there's always one fight so you often get what kills that maybe there's a lion that lose an eye maybe there's an injured lion but eventually it is never really that serious mostly one of the animals will lose an eye because as we do know with lions with the retractable claws you know if they use those claws eventually if it hooked into the eye you definitely will lose that eye actually start seeing what the, one of the young males especially if you look to the one to next to that adult female on the left you can see which one is the males because the males will start especially at this young age when they're about almost a year you can start seeing like the mane slowly developing start seeing extra hair underneath the neck the chin so that's usually the only difference you can see at this very young age of the of the young males whereas the females they will lack that inside they don't have the hair they don't have the mane but we'll take them. Oh. This is getting disciplined there. Yeah, so it will take these young lions probably around maybe in the next year or two. The females might decide to leave them again. Because we do know with most of the lions, in about two years, they do become sexy and matured. So that means they become ready for mating. Also, then the younger males is a bit bigger start eating a lot more to start to overpower the mothers so then eventually they get pushed out so then they start their nomadic life the females females might be lucky with prides you never know they might be reintroduced back into the pride to spend uh, most like basically the rest of the life with the pride but it all depends on the adult females if they do want to have the young ones we have seen with the previous litter of, of this female lions one of the females did try to rejoin the pride, but because of the young ones, they were too small. The mothers didn't like it, so there was a bit of a interaction between them, a bit of a fight and a growl. And then the other female, she left. So now those three females, there's only three of them. The 
it's been quite a nomadic life so they don't have a territory yet so they'll move all over the property so they'll constantly what they'll do is they'll kill they won't actively mark that area saying that the area belongs to them so they'll kill and then they will basically just leave that area but unless if they do find an open area where they will settle down so for this for the Genzi pride now as it stands these future those males might also be the future of uh, basic of the Kapama private game reserve it is all dependent on if they stand together when they leave the pride because the highest the way for them to survive going forward would be to move together the four males if they are not going to move together unfortunately life will be much difficult because there is other male lions on the property which they will have come will have to come across with in order if they do want to let's say take over and start their own pride See that stomach is full. They are eventually gonna start resting. You know, most of them will just go and lay down, rest because they've eaten so much now. But they also, I think, with the young ones, they'll try to also eat as much as possible. It's usually more difficult if it's a smaller kill, like a impala, for instance. With an impala, if they've just killed it now, if it was not a pretenistic hunt, it was a, a hunt where they were really looking for food then they will have to hunt again in the next day, maybe even in the afternoon. See one of the adult females just standing up there. I think as the sun becomes a bit warmer and becomes a bit hot, they are going to look for shade. Even the female, the adult female, you can see that stomach is full, bloated. It's also quite interesting to see if you look at lions when they, especially when they're feeding, because we, what we always see is we see the front part, but they don't actually. They use the canines to kill the long teeth they have. That's what they all use to basically to kill and suffocate an animal. But that's not actually the teeth they use because the most important part is the back ones, which is called the canassals. It actually works like a scissor. So even if you look at them feeding, you'll find that they'll try to put the meat on the backside. So basically, what will happen then? The canassals will then it's almost it works like a scissor it cuts a big piece of meat or like pieces of meat so then actually they'll take that pieces of meat and they will swallow it whole and that will that piece will actually take longer to digest so that's also why i say that lions don't have to necessarily eat every day so taking big pieces and then swallowing it will then keep them you know full basically for a longer period but like if you have to go back and saying it's when there's opportunity Let's say even they have eaten, if there's another animal coming through, they'll definitely take the opportunity to take it down. But the lions, they don't have to eat every day. Because it's been said on average, they need about 3, kilo, three to 4 kilograms of meat per day. But with, as you can see, with a, with a young giraffe, let's say it estimates about 100 kilos. So, they would easily have already like got more than the 3-4 kilograms of meat in one yeah. sitting alone. So thank you very much for everyone joining us. Um, yeah, it's always nice to see lions on a kill, you know. That's what we all want to see. But thank you for joining us on our Volta Safari. Thank you to our cameraman, Aubrey and Manus. We hope to welcome you back to Kapama in the near future. And stay safe. Thank you.